clams 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 if there's one thing about this hobby is you are going to be looking for all sorts of small clams that are either made or invented by somebody that provides you with a solution to one of the many problems you're going to have of putting your model kit together we're not going to look at all the commercial clams that i've acquired over the years we're just going to look at one clamp that i made up to solve a particular solution in model building one of the challenges of planking a fully framed boat is how do you hold the planks against the frames. As I started working on the thorn and starting to put the internal frames, I quickly came across this problem. And the first thing you do is you research everything that there is. And to my surprise, I found there was no real easy solution to uh, hold a plank to the internal of a frame. There were quite a few um, attempts at uh, frame frame planks um, but none of them really got my excitement um, I did have a screw cramp that I had gotten I might be micromod might be model expo from one of them that works quite well on a on a plank on frame where the uh, you're double planking the boot or the frame uh, is accessible these clamps really are fine when you're doing um, a plank on frame bulkhead when you have two sets of framing and this is normally screwed into either a frame or the first set of planking and this is your typical scenario you have a series of clamps that you screw into the frames and the system really works great it's a fantastic tool all you have to do is make sure you have enough pressure when you're screwing it in otherwise the hole won't hold the um, the clamp clamping piece that you, you're screwing in to pull the plank against the frame so one of the um, solutions proposed is to use zip ties where you have the in this case the external plank that you want to install on the model you have a backup piece of wood on the back and you simply run the zip tie through the frames pulling the two together and you get a nice um, join where the the external plank sits flush and against the the frames the problem you have is when you start to do some interesting bends or if you're internal of the boat and you can't get proper access that you need some sort of internal screw system that will allow you to do it. And that's where we came up to, with a modification to the first set of clamps, which was to go to a bolt system and it will go into the frame, the space between the frames, and you have a nut on the other side. In my case, I've made up some nice big fat wooden nuts and you tighten it up and you achieve exactly the same thing. Um, this one can tighten from the outside because we have this nice little wooden toggle and you can even put an allen key on it, um, sits in an allen bolt and tighten it up real tight which will give you a lot of strength in the join between the plank and the frame. And here you can see the clamp part of the screw, screws inside and the nut on the back side. And this would be a typical application inside of the, um, inside of the model where you put the, the nut on the bottom and you simply pull it in. The only challenge we've had um, so far <clears throat> is that when we're tightening on this side the clamp part of it tends to swing in the direction of the um, of this of the way you're, you're screwing it in and the solution to that is that I would either clamp it hold it in place with something which will prevent it moving um, or I simply will turn it on the back on the back side these are 440 bolts um, about an inch and a quarter long with the appropriate nuts. We made a, a series of wooden heads half an inch long and the diameter slightly bigger than the nut. 
And here, here is how we make it up. This is the, going to become the head, the new head of the screw. On one side, there's a hole big enough to take the nut. On the other side, the hole is big enough to take the head. And of course, we drill it through by the thickness of the bolt. So to assemble it, we simply push the bolt into the piece of wood, attach the nut, Then we put some epoxy here and push that in and then just tighten up the nut and we've got it all the way inside and we have epoxy in this hole as well and, and you tighten it up the epoxy will come out of the top and then you will get one of these. In terms of the nuts that we're using these are some wooden hardwood uh, nuts that we pre-drilled and we've tapped in with the correct tap and that gives you a nice big square nut. Depending on the application we may use a washer and, and then the clamp top piece um, before we put the wooden nut on it. And in some cases, we've replaced this with a wooden um, top clamp simply because we don't want to mark the, uh, the clamp that we're putting in. So here's a typical application. We're going to put a few of these in. So here we have it, all clamped in place nicely. Of course, one of you bright sparks is going to come and say, why didn't you simply put a clamp on it? Well, that's possible. Except when you start getting much further down, um, there's just no long clamp that's going to fit all the way down. So these clamps have their purpose, like many of the other clamps. And this was just my solution, again, built on the expertise of lots of people who've come before me and develop some fantastic products of how we can make a slight modification to an existing system and make a really truly good clamp. So I hope you'll find this useful and um, I'll see you in another video. Bye.